Hello, everyone. Welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah and with Oscar today. Look at that sweet cat boy who is annoyed because I stopped him from doing cat things. He has other things to do, apparently, but but he'll stop for some chin scratches. Mm -hmm. Welcome into the Saturday vloggy thing. If you've been here before, you know what this is about. Every Saturday I do a vloggy thing and catch up with the week and tell you what's coming up and what's going fast and, and all the good things. And uh, if you've not been here before, it's just craziness. It's my life. Uh, we talk about crochet stuff. We talk about life stuff and show off the sweet cat boy who is not happy with mama right now who wants down. Okay, down you go. All right. If you missed last week's vloggy thing, then you missed the news that uh, I got a new position at work. It officially starts Sunday or Monday because we don't work on Sunday. Supervisor. Yes, yes, your girl's gonna be in management, right? Took long enough. I mean, I'm only 52, what's the hurry? But I'm excited. Uh, got my officially have my team. It's the same team I've been a part of, which is cool because we all kind of know each other already. I'm just kind of taking over the reins. We're already going in the right direction. So I'm happy about that. Uh, per my boss, I need to be working less hours, fewer, fewer hours, pardon me. Um, so that's the thing. She says there's this thing called work life balance that I really should look into. <laughs> What is that? I said, you don't even know what that is. Don't even tell me what that is. She totally works like I do. It's like work all the time, get all the things. Yeah. So she gets it, but she doesn't want me working as many hours because I've been doing, you know, roughly 60-ish a week or more, depending on the week. She says, no, keep it way closer to 40. So we're going to see what that looks like in my life and for my sleep. Yes, I point at my eyes because I got bags under my eyes. I always do are the dark things, you know, there's that. Anyway, that is work news. Yes, besides it always being busy and doing that kind of stuff. Oh, I need to point out this cute little top that I'm wearing that's actually kind of short. Uh, probably won't get worn out of the house. But I was walking around Walmart last weekend and I said, you know what? I'm going to pick myself up a little something. And they always have the cuter things in the junior section. So yes, this is technically from the junior section. It's the biggest junior size they have. It's a 21. <laughs> but I thought it was kind of cute. And it's very, very stretchy, which is the only reason I can wear it is because it does have a lot of stretch. To me, it would be cuter if these were not elastic, if it was just a straight strap. But because it always kind of pulls it up, pulls it up a little too much. But it's cute. I'll wear it around the house, probably. I mean, maybe even to Walmart because I mean, wear pajamas at Walmart. You know, even a fat chick can wear a crop top. So, yes, we'll do that. Also, one of my little crocheted hair scrunchies. It's one of those things that I do that's just an easy project to just kind of do. I can do it in the car. I can do it wherever. It's an easy peasy project. So, and I actually have a tutorial on it that if I remember, I'll link there or there or wherever they pop up. <sighs> it has been crazy. I've been working a lot. Oh, and by the way, in case you see these things swinging around, these are some Halloween earrings that I bought last year on clearance after the time. I love them. And yes, I know it's August, but I love Halloween. Halloween should be all, all year long. So the skeletons are making their play. I've got my kitty over here. I've had a dollar tree, by the way. It was in their, their plus section, so it was three bucks. I don't care. It's super cute. Um, some other things that I purchased, and there is some something yarny coming up, so don't freak out. It's not all like non-yarny stuff. There is yarny things. Yes, yes, there are. Okay. Um, I've been obsessed with organizing stuff lately. I already had a set of three of these. You can stack them and hook them together. They have little screw holes. This one would be on top. Um but my pantry doesn't allow that. So I can just use them side by side for cans. I have three of them in there already stacked up with cans and it's like, oh yes, must have more. So I got six more of these, they come in three pack. Um, got them from the old Amazon, you know, but not expensive, 
easy to snap together. It's just you, you hook your sides to it and you go, crook, no tools. And you can put your cans in there. Yes, awesome to help because my pantry is kind of a disaster, okay? 15 years of just putting stuff in there with, yeah, this is kind of this section and this is kind of this section. You know how it goes. It ends up really bad. You end up with stuff in there that you can't find. So organization is finally starting. It only took me 15 years. What was the rush? What was the rush? Yeah. But also I've been obsessed with the home edit. I don't know if you've heard of the home edit. Um, Joanna and Clea on the home edit. You can find them on Netflix. This is something that I purchased. Oh, it's these guys right here. And they like to organize things by color, by rainbow color. And I kind of love that, but I have nothing to really organize that way in my house. Um, but this little package of home edit stuff, I got at Walmart. They have, a, they have a line of stuff at Walmart and it's all of these bins, not all nicely organized like that, of course. Not with all the stuff that comes in it, of course. And I haven't used them like that in a drawer. They say, start with a drawer. If you're going to start organizing, ooh, sorry, I'm moving a little thing around here. Start with a drawer. Did I do that? Not exactly. I, last week you may have seen where I got a little rolling rack that's only about this wide that I thought would fit in a space in my bathroom between um, a countertop and a wall. Fits there perfectly so I have some of these on that to help organize stuff and some other little bins look at these oh my gosh isn't there just something that is wonderful about little plastic organizing not really you know acetate whatever they're whatever they're made of I don't care this and it even has their little hallmark in there the the home edit original yeah not a bad price at Walmart either for that big package of them. It was less than 20 bucks and there were a bunch of them. I have two left out of there, but, oh, and these are stackable. Look at this. Look at that. How cute is that? Anyway, the last two will go in a particular drawer that I have. And I have some other things that I picked up at another store, kind of working with them. I guess I'm kind of obsessed. Um, what are the organizing things? I got, oh. Oh, it wasn't just organizing things. Did I tell y'all I went to Dollar Tree? Because I almost always go to Dollar Tree, right? I have to, once a week, if I don't make a trip to Dollar Tree, my life isn't complete. <laughs> Buck 25, y'all. I got a Halloween tree. <laughs> it's going to go in my office. Um, I don't know if I showed you these last week or not. Look. This is the cutest stinking thing. This will stay out all year in my office. This little purple tree because it's purple and it's sparkly. And yes, it's staying out. Oh, and I have to put these out near my little mini garden. I got three of these guys. These are light up yarn stakes. They're solar. You just plunk them in the ground and do the thing. Things to decorate my little tree with. This, which is really, really cute. Yes, I kind of like the whole skeleton motif. I mean, underneath we're all skeletons, right? Isn't that great? Oh my God. Okay, I'll turn it off for now. <laughs> yes, I'm a weirdo, but you probably already knew that. There's other Halloween type things in here. That was about 25 as well. Also got another brow pencil. In medium I did not have this color LA colors it's actually pretty good is it the best no but a buck 25 versus about 20 bucks for some that you'll buy yes it'll do it will do I'm not a makeup artist so it'll do this which the uh, the little tea light in there needs a battery but it's an LED lantern how cute is that for a buck 25 and I have a place I can hang it in my office it's got little purple ornaments for my tree Love it. Anyway, that was a Dollar Tree purchase. Just, you know, some of them in there. Let's hang that up. Okay. To the yarn type things. Now, if y'all remember, I showed you this, right? This beautiful yarn, this Malabrigo Rios. Oh, my gosh, yes. And I have a project picked out and I bought a pattern and everything. But 
I didn't have anything to wind it up with. I could have all done it by hand, I'm sure. But why would I want to do that when I could, you know, go to Amazon? The reason I went to Amazon, of course, is because, um, well, I won <laughs> another thing over at Lisa, Lisa Lady Burla's uh, spinning wheelie thing. I think that the, the members only won. And there are people in there that are like, that this has to be rigged. And she's like, yeah, Deborah must be cursing the wheel or something because, or she said, Debra, I get called Debra over there. Um, because I won. And did it pay for all of it? No. But I added my own money. I'm happy to. This is stuff like, it's like, oh, well, now that I have this gift card to put towards it, I'll go ahead and buy it. I bought two things. What is this? Is it, what is it? It's a quiver of arrows. No, it isn't. This is a yarn swift. Is it the most expensive one? No. Will it do what I need to do in my little light duty life here? Yes. I like that this is very smooth and so nothing will get hung up on it or anything. Uh, I will set it up and I will do some uh, winding of yarn later, but I didn't just get a yarn swift. Nay, nay. Of course I didn't. We put this down. With my yarn swift came a set of these. And I'm guessing this has something to do with pom-poms or something. It was free and it was shoved in that, they, they were all shoved into that little sleeve that the yarn swift came in. Look at that, even little itty bitty baby ones. Okay, super cute. I'll have to look up how to use these. But, but I also purchased this. I got a yarn bowl liner! Oh my gosh. Lisa, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, I... And this was super easy. It was all together, except for this little tubey thing here that you just slide it on. Uh, but this here was like this so that it folds up. You just pull it out and it's got a little groove that it clicks into. And then you hook it to your table with this little jobby here. Yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait to wind my yarn. <laughs> And hopefully now with my shorter schedule, I'll be able to do some more crocheting because there hasn't been a lot of that lately. Um, I'm not going to show you my temperature blanket because I didn't do last night or the night before's, which I'll catch up today. That's easy peasy because I do them in little squares. And after I do that, I think I have to sew on the whole row. So crochet on the whole row rather. So I'll show you next week when it has another whole row added to it. Okay. All the same colors anyway. Oh my gosh. It has been just warm, warm, warm. But I have been working on something else until I fall asleep. Oh gosh, I mentioned sleep and I start to yawn. This is ridiculous. And I slept over 10 hours last night. Yeah, I just room slept. Of course, it's in my um, Halloween Express bag. That's what I use that for, for this particular project. It is the hashtag rock2022AU, put on by Judy at Witch Piece Crafts. Um, every twice a month, she shows you an album, you get inspired by it, you do something. Some people are doing individual projects. I am doing squares for, oh gosh, I've got my hook tied to it here. Squares for a, um, a blanket. It'll be an enormous blanket because there's going to be like 12, 24 squares. I'm hook them all together and then I'll put some kind of a border around it. Maybe depends on how much yarn, how much black yarn I have left. Um, all these colors are going to be in this one. Yeah. This is on an Olivia Newton-John album. Let me be there. Um, from the early 70s. Most of the rest of this will end up being shades of green because she's laying like kind of on green grass, you know, looking all pretty like Olivia Newton-John always had. And um, yeah, she lost her battle with breast cancer um, that she has been fighting for more than 30 years, I think. So this, for this particular album, it is that a lot of people are doing like breast cancer awareness type of things. I decided to just stick with my theme of being inspired by the colors in the album cover. I'm just doing that the whole way through. Colors in the album cover, there you go. And right now it's just stuck in here. Oh, by the way, pencil bags like this, get them at Dollar Tree or sometimes you can find them at Walmart. They are the best for holding your hook and a pair of scissors and maybe a copy of your pattern and stuff like that if you keep it like this. And this I just, I keep um, underneath a table 
in the living room so that I can pull it out and crochet when watching TV. Oh goodness. Oh, back over here so that I don't lose it. So guys, what have you been doing this week? I did manage to put up a uh, time for tea this week. That was my Monday video. Tuesday, it was snacks around the world, a bunch of snacks and the hand made a return. So be sure and, you know, check that out if you haven't already. Um, yeah, we did five snacks, five, because I had to catch up on some. I have another munch box that I have not even opened yet. So we'll start with that this week. I did not do a hot taste this week. Um, the medicine that I take sometimes makes my stomach pretty upset. So I, my stomach was not feeling it. So I wasn't doing a hot taste. However, I do have to tell you, I had a little teeny tiny mini harvest out of my little teeny tiny garden. I had an ahi dulce pepper, which is a sweet ahi dulce. It's, it's a sweet pepper. Green. Oh my gosh. I cut it up and I put it in a big meal that we made this week. And very sweet, very tasty. I tried using some of my little ornamental peppers. that are just super cute. There's just not enough there to fool with, but they're beautiful. And I've got to put that in a hanging pot because that is going to stay up all the time. It's gorgeous. Um, I've been getting my little tomatoes and yes, I know too many plants in the pots. That's why they're all so small, but I've got to tell you, they're tasty. They are amazingly flavorful. So I actually cut, I had three of them that were ripe and ready to use. So instead of just eating them all myself, I cut them up and put them in that same deal that I was making uh, for dinner. Just to add a little bit of tomato-ness. Can't have a lot of tomato-ness. It bothers the hubby's stomach. He likes tomatoes just fine. They don't like him. So there's that. Uh, but also I have in the other room a um, Brazilian starfish red pepper. Oh, let me just pause and go get it. It's so cute. Okay, I'm back. I know that was second for you. These are my little uh, <laughs> ornamentals. Look how tiny that sucker is, but they're beautiful. And there's some that are purple and stuff, and they're just gorgeous. Uh, my little tomato, this is the biggest of the tomatoes that I have this time. And yes, they're tiny, but they are so good. So, and no, it's not a cherry <laughs> variety. These are just little bitty teeny tomatoes. And this, I probably should have left out there another day or two to let it pick up the rest of its color. I didn't realize that it still had a tiny bit of green on it. But this is a Brazilian starfish red. And look at the shape of that. This is a pepper that's not terribly hot. It's got a little heat to it, but not bad. Um, I tried the powder uh, this past year during my hot pepper powder tastings. And I'm sure that the link for that playlist will be up here. Um, it's actually really, really good. I wish I could get a scent off of this one, though. I can't really without scratching it. I don't want to scratch it yet. But yes, the harvest in the palm of my hand. Oh, I just dropped my ornamental one. Oh, goodness. There it is. So cute. But how pretty is that? Wouldn't these make cute little decorations on something? Little teeny tiny chili peppers? Yeah. Anyway. I've been having fun with my garden and growing. Um, many thanks to Garden State Gardener and to Lisa Ladybird Loves and to uh, Jimmy Pickles, um, who really encouraged me learning how to do some of this. And I will do a little bit more next year. Absolutely. Oh, and I have little cucumbers growing out there now. There's so teeny tiny little baby cucumbers. Uh, we'll see if those actually get harvestable. But, you know... I'm excited either way. So there's that. I've been having fun with it. And I'll try to take some pictures of what's out there right now because there are there's still some more fruit coming, right? Fruit and veg. Um, they still keep on happening. So I guess that's a factor of the hot weather in Georgia. Hmm. So if they keep producing, I'll keep grabbing them, keep using them because I like it. Anyway. Thank you for coming by. Stick around for a little slideshow because I'll, I'll do some pictures. And um, hopefully I'll see you for some of my other videos coming up. There will be another time for tea. Uh, snacks around the world. I will try to do a hot taste this week. We'll see how the tummy is. And um, hopefully, hopefully, I will take some time to do my flip throughs. I have got like two or three magazines now to flip through and a couple of books that I'm behind on. We'll try to get those in and get them scheduled out as well.
thank you, thank you, thank you. Tell a friend to come along here as well. Say, you know, she doesn't bite much. <laughs> See you very, very soon. Bye, y'all. Okay, going to try something a little bit different. Going to go outside. Yes, there's my lawnmower. Still hasn't been used again. I know, shame on me. Uh, not going to close the door all the way because I hate trying to open that. Oh, wow. Oh, I hope this picks up. Big, pretty web by a, a little spider over here. That is so cool. Try to come this way, see if you can see it. Man, I can see my dirty windows though, but. Huh. Look at that. Very cool, very cool web. I, I like what, looking at the webs and stuff that they make. Something flying around that stings. Don't like that too much. Yes, there's the twuck. We were out last night, went to a new place that, uh, look at all the trees that we hadn't been to before. We really enjoyed it. It was a great, great meal. Nice little place in Tacoa. Oh, look at these. These are little, sorry if I'm making y'all busy and stuff. Uh, flowers and or weeds. Um, look at those cute little guys. Love the, the blue ones there. I just kind of let them do their thing here. They're supposed to be for the pollinators. So here they are. I try to do my thing for stuff. This is the plant that I got my ahi dulce off of. And there are lots more buds there. So I'm looking forward to some more peppers. There's none on there right now, but they'll be coming. Lots more spider webs. What's up with that? This, oh, needs some more water. Yes, some of the leaves and stuff are brown on my little cucumber plant, but uh, it is still, look at that. Look at that, little teeny tiny cucumbers. And yes, I'll come out here and water afterwards. Can't do that with the phone in my hand though. This is uh, one of my plants that I did not think would make it. It has actually produced some pretty good fruit. This is one of my tomatoes, little baby guy there. So this one, it was bent on the bottom really, really badly. This is my Brazilian starfish red plant. Here's one that's starting to turn red. Little bug on there. I don't know what it is. It needs to go away. But lots of buds and stuff. So there's another one. There's a bunch of these little guys. Okay, guys, what are these little bugs? I don't know what they are. I don't know anything about bugs except they're bugs. There's my little ornamental lots more buds on it and super cute little peppers this is another one of the uh tomato plants that i thought would die i've actually gotten some tomatoes off of it oh look another little spider on there how cute hopefully you can see that maybe you can't i don't know it's like behind my hand there see that oh, there it is won't focus it's focusing on my hand instead oh well but the plant had some bends in it and it broke and then but it ended up living anyway there's some basil that i pretty much just left alone as far as food goes just letting it help with bug prevention out here anything white that you see on the leaves that was diamaceous earth uh, that i put on there to help with my hornworm problem that i had which i learned about and then i took care of wow a lot of bushiness to this plant. Actually, this is two plants because it's the middle one kind of drooping over here as well. I recently harvested off of this one. That's why there aren't any tomatoes on it right now. This one had all the goodies on it the last time. This one here is just something that got chewed on and I left it because why not? It's just going to sit there and do its thing, I guess. It'll feed somebody. Okay. And I know that there's another tomato hiding up under here. You see that little guy? Yeah. Ta-da. Cute, cute, cute. And it rained yesterday, which is why there is some drippiness on some of them. And I know I do everything wrong on these tomato plants. Believe me, I know. But I'm learning. This is my first year. And I've learned a lot. I've learned what not to do with some things. All this bear one up here, that's what got totally chomped on by the hornworms. But some of it recovered. Some of what got chomped by the hornworms recovered 
and I was really happy with that because I didn't expect it to, but it grew back. Yeah, I need to do some some cutting out here with my trimmers, but that will probably not happen today. This is my little itty bitty teeny tiny garden, first ever, because I've never been able to grow anything before. But because of my friends on YouTube, I have learned some things. Let's get another shot of some trees here because it really is beautiful. Look how tall they are. Oh my gosh. Lots of beautiful pines and other things. There's my in-laws house back there. But more trees, more cedars here that we planted. Everything else was just here when we got here pretty much. But the cedars we put in when they, they were just a foot and a half tall. They were itty bitty. Itty bitty. And now... They are stinking huge, and they make a nice break between us and our in-laws' property behind us. Um, yeah, you can see I need to do more mowing, too. I just pretty much let that little tiny bit of a hill grow. And yeah, there's our propane tank back there, so I'm not going to walk through the back. But my cute little house in the woods with a non-landscaped yard. <laughs> and my twuck. Our twuck. But, uh... And it's a hybrid. Yes, I'm still tickled about that. Anyway, thanks for joining me for my little uh, not slide show. I decided to do a little video instead. And uh, you got to see a little bit of the outside, which is as much as I go outside. So no more outside. I'm going back in where the air conditioning is. <laughs> Bye, y'all.